Fellas, you're a misogynist if you didn't vote for Trump or didn't vote at all, right? Right. But women that threaten to poison their husbands or boyfriends for not voting for Trump are simply oppressed victims. Am I right? What you talking about, Willis? I'm talking about something called Aqua Tafana. What? A poison concocted by a group of Jezebels in the 16th century that wanted to get rich off of women wanting to delete their husband. Now TikTok Jezebels are threatening to use poison on the men and their families for simply not voting the way they wanted those men to vote. Never gonna happen, sweetie. Your body, our choice. Well, I see we're all suddenly Googling Aqua Tefano. So let me give you a little bit of history about its legendary inventor, Julia, and the women behind her. For she was not one, she was many. A while ago, I did a video telling the story about Aqua Tefano, what it does, and its origins. And for some reason, it's getting a lot of hits recently. Yep. 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 The story goes that Aqua Tofana was invented by Julia Tofana. She was originally from Sicily. She moved to Rome in the 1600s. And she and a bunch of women that she trusted started selling this poison in secret to other women. Aqua Tofana. Am I right? Aqua Tofana. If you know, you know. Aqua Tofana was a mixture, it was said, of arsenic, lead, belladonna, and tharidin. But what made the poison so special was that you could precisely time when your intended victim would shuffle off this mortal coil, because you could get doses that delivered death in a day, a week, a month, even a year. And the poison was sold in secret to women to help them escape abusive marriages. Because, of course, women at the time were considered property. You bought them, you could do what you wanted with them, and the only escape for most of these women was death. Either their own, or their husbands. The story of Aqua Tofana was sensationalized over the centuries by different male writers. In the 1800s you have a couple of writers giving great detail about the beauty of how Aqua Tofana was wielded, but also calling the women witches, betrayers. Speaking to me is a privilege. You do not have privileges. So Julia Tofana's real name was likely to be Julia Mangiardi. The inventor of Aqua Tofana is actually thought to be a woman named Tofania da Dalmo. She lived in Sicily, she was an apothecary, and in 1633 she was convicted and executed for poisoning her husband. Pretty legendary if you ask me. I love it. Right, because voting the wrong way is not only misogynist, but falls under the same umbrella as DV. And if any of this offends you, then let's let a real man explain what these women, excuse me, these Jezebels are actually doing here. Enlighten us, King. Do I think that men are shifting to the right politically because women are too misandrous to them? Yes, but no. Hear me out. I think that what you would identify as misandry is a negative response that women have to experiencing misogyny on a systemic and interpersonal level. A systemic and interpersonal level. That's some old bullshit. The Jezebels complaining are Gen X, Millennial, and Gen Z Western modern women. And those Western modern women have not experienced any systematic misogyny or oppression. So I wanna put that out there first. Because what a lot of men don't understand is that what they're experiencing is a response to sexism. How sweet. Too many people treat it as a starting point. And this next part is for the boys. I want you all to listen up for a second, right? I want to validate, because I've experienced it, I know that experiencing those real and genuine feelings that women have about experiencing misogyny, receiving that can feel hurtful as a man. It can feel hurtful. I'm not denying that. I would never deny that. It's hurt me. I've shed tears over it. Beta! Beta bear! It can feel essentializing. It can feel as though people talk about you as though you are intrinsically evil. I understand that. But what you need to understand, what people need to understand, I'm very serious about this part, is that that is a domino, and the first domino is misogyny. It is patriarchal systems that oppress women. Because oppressive systems create resentment in people. They create hatred and negative feelings and bitterness in people. And that's very understandable. Women 18 to 35 out earn men on average. Women graduate from college at a far higher rate than men. Most men were raised by women, then go to school where most teachers are women. So the information given to young men mostly come from women. Women are also more likely to be hired for a job or promoted 
due to DEI. Women under this patriarchal system have more support groups than men and are far more likely to have a higher quality of life than men. Women are systematically favored in family court and welfare was created for women. Women systematically are given lighter prison sentences for the same crimes as men. Under this patriarchy, there are women-only spaces like female-only gyms and medical clinics that only hire women. And also under this patriarchy, by law, a man's child is not his unless a woman agrees or it's proven in court. And another thing under this patriarchy is a man's biggest fear is not other men, or bears, it's a false accusation from a woman. But I guess only a real man can understand how Western modern women are so oppressed. What I'm seeing missing from a lot of y'all's analysis, pointing at the root cause, too many folks are starting the story at what they call misandry. They're acting as though nothing's going on and women just started hating on them for fun. I like you, man. You lie a lot. And what it tells me, at least on a personal level, is that a lot of y'all are not in like genuine, like honest relationships with women. Because you just need to hear how women interact with men and how men treat women and how many stories the average woman has about her interaction with men who understand that there's a lot of material, a lot of material that brings people to this place of resentment. That is what it is to be oppressed. Let's not forget that Jezebels don't procreate with proper men on average. If a man's not toxic, they think he's weird, weird. Mm. Ah. They deal with the type of men that justifies them choosing the bird, then bring those men around their children to spread that toxicity down a generation. So when little girls come up around the type of man her Jezebelian mama chose, that, that shapes, shapes her worldview. Really. And since he keeps going on and on about oppression, let's let this beautiful woman here explain what actual oppression looks like. A young Iranian woman has been arrested after choosing to protest Iran's hijab laws by wearing her underwear out in public. Reports say that she's been placed in a menstrual institution, but it's likely that she will never be seen again. Meanwhile, here in the United States, women are complaining about their oppression, saying this election is going to bring them into Handmaid's Tale and that they're being stripped of their rights. <laughs> And shout out to Amala, link to her channel in the description below. And while we're on the topic of violence and misandry. TV. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Really? Yes. Yeah. That TV and that asshole. Do it. I'll buy <laughs> Now imagine the message that sends to society if men acted that way. The irony of the petulant, childlike, modern woman's mindset is hilarious. Accuse men of being hateful and violent with no proof, then go on to be hateful and violent in 4K. These Jezebelian women are literally threatening men with violence and deletion because those men didn't vote the way they wanted them to. How's that? for oppression. Not only that, they some bullies using sex as a weapon against men and social isolation against friends and family as a punishment. I just want to issue a formal announcement to everybody in my life that I have now joined the 4B movement. That's for one. Second, secondly, the first question I'm asking everybody in my life from this moment forward, who did you vote for? If I get anything Aside from Kamala, get the fuck out of my face. I am done, honestly. It costs me zero dollars to cut people off. And in this economy, I'm taking all the free shit that I can get. If you're not trying to hoard plan B and miss a pro soul with me and start an underground ocean railroad, then I don't get the fuck out of my face, honestly. Oh my God, I'm tired. Now that we're all saying what we're thinking, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think if you voted for Donald Trump, you're ugly. I think you're all freaking ugly, and I think you're dumb as bricks. And I think you're a bigot in every sense of the word, every use of the word. I also not only won't care when all the bad stuff that's gonna happen happens to you, I actually want it to happen to you. Jesus Christ. 
I want your taxes to go up. I want things to be more expensive for you. I want you to have a complicated pregnancy. I want all that bad stuff to happen to you because that's what you deserve. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Also, like, the only silver lining is it's actually going to suck for all you Trump voters way more than it's going to suck for us blue voters because we actually have educations and good jobs. Stop the cap. Y'all are broke as f But I identify as poor. So it's really going to suck for you when he raises your taxes a ton. Fellas, if you ever find yourself in an argument with a leftist Jezebel, ask her which gender protects her rights. Um, 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 um. And, um, um. Also be sure to inform her that she's on the side of history that will not take credit for the very existence of future women. Especially seeing as those clump of cells that would eventually form into a little girl is the most aborted baby. Fact. Tell her that history will remember her as the worst woman in human history. And the men that she called misogynists are responsible for the rights, opportunities, and existence of women in the future. And if you yourself need a reminder of why America is one of the greatest countries in the world, check out this next clip. I live from the side of the road. Stop. Now. What the heck are you doing out here? 43 is charged. I'm working a job site right there, man. 45. Right down there. What are you doing down there? What are you doing in this thing? I just came to get uh, some lunch and sodas and whatnot for the guys. What? What's your name? Steve. Well, Steve, I can't have you driving up and down the street in this skyjack. I, you're sitting on beer. That's for after. I'm not drinking it now. What about that beer there I saw you drinking coming out of the driveway? Oh man, I'm, I'm just finishing that one was from earlier. That's. Steve, I, I can't have you driving down the road in a man. skyjack drinking beer. Why don't, you, on, why don't you come on down and talk to me here for a minute? Let's figure this oh, out. Man, I gotta get back to work. No, nah, just come on down. We'll get this figured out and we'll oh, get you man. back to work. No. Steve, come on down. No. Steve, come on come, down. Come get me. How about that? I'll tell you what, Steve. Get we can do me. this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. Come on up. The buddy. hard way on the way to jail, we're gonna stop by the hospital. Oh, maybe I'll come down. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll come down. Maybe I won't. Steve. 97. Come get me. Come on down. Just come on down. Let's work this out. Get you back to work. Oh, man, why don't you just go on your way and I'll go on my way. I'm giving you one more chance, Steve. Come on down the easy uh, way. I know my right. Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're going to jail.